Lush, and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased to be joined by Rita McGrath, professor at Columbia Business School. It's a pleasure to be here. Tell me a little bit about your thoughts on innovation. Big idea here at Davos in 2015. It is a big idea and one of the problems I think is most companies don't get it right. Uh, in fact there's lots of ways that they're dysfunctional about what they try to do with innovation. They talk about it a lot but they don't actually do what's necessary to make innovations happen. Tell me an example of where you think a company does get it right. I think companies like Cognizant, mm -hmm. uh, their competitor Infosys, mm -hmm. uh, companies like that uh, are very, very good at innovation. Procter & Gamble mm -hmm. is known for being highly innovative in the consumer product space. So there are companies that I think do it better than others. Tell me what Procter & Gamble has done. What's the, the product that you like? Oh, right well, there. one of the great historical stories is from the spin brush, mm -hmm. um, which was actually an invention that was created by some entrepreneurs, and P&G brought it in-house. Mm -hmm. And they used the scale and the scope of a large company together with the entrepreneurial verve of a small group of founders to make it, uh, I think it's the best-selling toothbrush in the world. Right. So what's an, uh, what can a company do? What are the things that you would advise your clients, for example, to do uh, to make a company more innovative? to build an innovation proficiency? Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lot of building blocks that need to be in place. So the first is you need a governance and a funding system. You need the right leaders in the right roles. Mm -hmm. uh, you need to have the ability to integrate it eventually with the uh, larger business. And what I always tell people is it requires not just one proficiency, but it really requires three. Mm -hmm. So everybody thinks it's about the big idea, mm -hmm. and that's not usually the problem. The mm -hmm. problem is in the second proficiency, which is incubation. Mm -hmm testing, prototyping, making the thing a real business, and then acceleration. So mm -hmm. you can think of your core business kind of like a six-lane highway, and mm -hmm. it's speeding along at um, 70 or 80 miles an hour, and your little innovations just on the on-ramp try to get up, and unless you have a way right. of accelerating it to join with the core business, it'll get squashed. So there's those capabilities that we know companies need. So how does acceleration work? How do you advise people to accelerate? Well, you need to be putting meaningful resources behind the venture. So mm -hmm. uh, you need to get it to scale pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. You need to have the people who are going to take over from the startup founders mm -hmm. and become the people that are actually going to run a large-scale business, mm -hmm. which is totally different requirements in many cases. Mm -hmm. And is that often difficult for a business to get oh, the yeah. right people in? Definitely, definitely. Um, you know, it's very hard for a large company to keep the entrepreneurs happy because mm -hmm. they get bored when something gets big enough. You right. know, they, they don't want to. They don't want to run something that's large. Right. And conversely, it's very hard for the people that are really good operators to understand the peculiar dynamics mm -hmm. of something that's just starting up. Mm -hmm. How often would you see or expect to see the top change during acceleration? During acceleration, mm -hmm. very often you change the team. Uh, and in a company that gets it right, what you're doing is recycling those innovative talents. Mm -hmm. And in many companies, they don't fit, they screw up, right. <laughs> they get tossed out, and uh, so they end up not staying with the firm, which is kind of a shame because yeah. they're the ones that really have the good ideas and know the culture. Well, we've had a helicopter very interested in innovation here during our entire <laughs> conversation. Thank you so much for stopping into the Hub Thank Culture you. Pavilion here today. And the I'm pleasure. Lush. Thanks.